I don't normally make videos about dreams I've had, um, as I've just not been sure that's what I've been called to do. However, due to the out of the blueness of a dream I had recently, I feel like I'm not supposed to keep it to myself. After I put up my last video, I had a dream that this guy is the Antichrist. I had been thinking it could be this guy or that guy, so even to dream about him, someone so far from my mind, is just weird. I prayed for confirmation about it and it turns out I'm not alone. Many others have been having this dream or have even been led in this direction somehow. I do not consider myself to be a prophet and I've mainly been trying to figure out what's been going on with scripture and observing world events. That said, all this began with a dream for me and it does say in Acts 2.17 and it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, your old men shall dream dreams. In 2001, um, I'd only been a Christian for a couple of years and I dreamt that I was standing in the street in the middle of the day and then thick blackness just came down out of the sky in one moment. There was a house with light on it for me to run to and it was elevated above the ground and as I ran to it water started pouring out over my head like I was being chased with a flood. I made it into the house um, and it had huge windows and it was so dark outside. I could just about make out that the, the land was flooded but only for a short time the water receded really fast. I went back outside and there was electricity in the air everywhere. I looked up to the sky and prayed for mercy and just at that point I was very abruptly woken up to the words he comes quickly. I'd never even read Revelation twenty two twenty, where it says he which testifieth these things saith surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come Lord Jesus. I shot out of bed after this dream and began proclaiming the Lord's return, even though I felt completely daunted by it and ill-equipped. Nobody ever listened to me before in my own circles, even on matters that are quite obvious, so it seemed absurd to me that God would use someone with so little clout like me. But I pressed ahead anyway because I care about being obedient to the Lord and what happens to people. So it's been three years for me, but many others have been warning for much longer. The Lord always warns the people before judgment to give them an opportunity to repent and to return to him. This world couldn't care less about us. We are lied to, made deliberately sick mentally, physically and spiritually, and mind controlled by TV to keep us under subjection. We are also indoctrinated into adopting lifestyles that separate us further from our Heavenly Father. Worship of the state, especially after its abuses, is Stockholm Syndrome. Jesus, on the other hand, loves us with a love so great that while we were still in rebellion to him, he gave his life for us. His resurrection is the victory over the curse of sin and death. Sin is a genetic disorder that's been handed down to us, but Jesus came to restore us back to whom we were created to be, sons and daughters of the Most High God. He is the door to eternal life an extravagantly generous gift that none of us deserve. If you have a humble heart, he's only a prayer away. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 9-13 So is this guy here the Antichrist? I don't know for sure, but it's definitely worth being aware that he is a serious candidate. And whatever happens, do not worship him. At the very least, he's not a good guy. There are no good guys in politics. We only have one Saviour, Jesus Christ, who can deliver us from the wrath to come.